Hello, my ninjas, and welcome back to another Hive Fleet Ouroboros. We're going to be doing Contrast 101. We're going to start with the Lupus Pink. Uh, the other colors we'll need for Hive Fleet Ouroboros will be Achillean Green, Black Templar, and Gilliman Flesh for the gun. You don't have to use Gilliman Flesh for the gun. I particularly like it. I think it gives a great effect. Um, and the reason I'm going with... Uh, the Lupus Pink is uh, in these uh, crevices and cracks in the drawn artwork in the Tyranid Codex. There appears to be a fair amount of pink in those, and I wanted to add that. That's not a detail we normally do on our Tyranids when we're trying to get them done quickly, but I wanted to show that we could add that in there and still get these done fairly quickly. So with a fine tip brush, we're just jumping straight in there with the Lupus Pink right out of the pot, no thinner, and we're getting all of these rib uh, ridged uh, looking detail areas uh, as well as the gaps and the crevices in between the armor plates. Now that Volupus Pink is on and it's had a few moments to dry, we're going to go ahead and pull out the Achillean Green, and we're going to go over all of the flesh parts. Uh, this will be anything that's not the bony carapace and anything that's not the gun or the pipe. Uh, and it's it's really this neat little turquoisey blue. I almost went with Leviathan Blue, but I noticed the official uh, Warhammer TV channel for this that shows you the non-contrast painting method. They used Sotek Green and several other colors, and those tend to look more like a Kellyan. And so where I really thought the artwork in the book represented a darker blue, um, I was actually prepared to do Leviathan Blue and Basilicanum Gray and uh, based on the artwork in the book. Um, so I think you've got a little bit of leeway there if you wanted to use those colors. I think that'd be great. We're going to be a little bit careful, but not super careful. I'm going to leave the crevices between the joins uncovered, but I'm not too worried about getting the Sakellian green on top of those muscle striation patches that tear through. It will tone down the pink a little bit, but leaving the pink in the elbows and wrists and things like that uh, is, is, I think, much more important. And it does leave the striations still darker, and it purples them up a little bit.
Alright, and that Achillean Green is now done. We are ready to do the Carapaces in Black Templar. Um, the Carapace goes really, really quickly, uh, especially compared to a lot of other colors, because the Black Templar covers so well. Uh, it still recess shades, recess shades and highlights itself so nicely, uh, so we can get a lot done. We do the hooks and the claws, we do the, the uh, hooves, and we do the plates. We especially make sure we hit the plates on the gun, because I like it when the plates on the gun match the plates on the Tyranid. It really shows that those bioorganisms were grown to be together. We're just going to make sure we go over this, making sure we get the pooling at the thick areas where we want it to pool. And that's really the secret to contrast paint. If you've been watching my videos so far, you've figured out the, the secret to working with contrast is getting it to pool when and where you want it to pool and not pool when and where you don't want it to not. Don't not want not it to not. You know what? We're just going to leave that in there. <laughs> the, 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 getting it to not pool when you want it to not pool. Alright, now this little dude's looking pretty good. It's time to take the Gillum and Flesh and we're going to hit the gun. We'll also be coming back and doing some of the details like the teeth with a little bit of white paint. You can use whatever white you like. You can thin down this Gillum and Flesh. Alright, I want to thank you guys for joining us once again. Uh, I'm, I'm just sure going to go ahead and finish this really up on the matters, corner over uh, there. In the meantime, I want to thank everybody for joining us uh, for this video. I'm having a great time working on these. I really enjoy putting these things together. Like I'm having a lot of fun. We're working our way through the Tyranids. Uh, got a special treat coming up. We're going to be working on uh, something special in November. want to let you guys in on that. And then uh, December, uh, some Age of Sigmar is going to be coming back. So if you guys are really excited about AOS, you'll get to see more of that in December. In the meantime, I want to remind everybody to check out my blog at 7ninjastudios.com where I keep a video record of all these things. You can find them on YouTube anyway, but I also have still images of the things that I post. And you can also check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash 7ninjas. That helps us pay for uh, the video equipment that we're using, the audio equipment that we use, the software that we record this on. Helps us buy more models. Um, buy more models that we can work on helps us expand our reach we're going to be introducing some brand new stuff real soon thanks to our patreon supporters and i really want to thank you guys for that and i hope you'll join us in the future and have a great time join that ninja squad uh do the youtubey things also let's not forget about those if you don't feel like supporting this channel through patreon with uh with cash money uh, then you can support my channel by subscribing, by liking the video, by leaving a comment, and by uh, ringing the, the notification thing. So uh, do those, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, ninjas, and let's take your armies from gray to great.